video, as you can tell by the thumbnail, is the electrical side of this. Um, I'm going to show you where all the wires go and what all the wires do and how it controls what and where to put them. Now then, this is very, very complicated build, so just bear with me how I can explain. It might take some time, um, but this is how I've done it. Now, basically, they're done through switches, which basically cuts off the power, and then when you switch it again, it enables the power. Very, very simple method of doing things, right? So... This is the arena, which you can't see, which is directly behind the camera. So if I turn around now, I'll show you exactly what it's like. Now then, this is the controller. This is the control person who will control every aspect of what's going on inside this, this, uh, this arena. Now then, this arena now has a clock or a way of calculating time on a match. You can do them in increments of 15 minutes. That's how I worked out. If you want to do an entire match for an hour, you work it out in 15 minutes. If you want to do it in half an hour, you can work it out in half an hour. It actually works out really, really well. So for, I'll show you that to start with. Now then, so what we do is the person here on the controller will toggle this switch, which will remove that one. Okay, can you see it in the clock tower over there? And then same with this one. Same with this one in increments of 15 minutes until we get to the very last one. And then that's the match is over. OK, so when they're all off, the match is over a timed. I think it's better doing these matches timed. So it gives them chance, the people who are defending the base and the switchers time to win the match. Basically, that's what it is. That's why I put these in here. OK, so I'll switch them all back on. Other than one, I'll leave one off to show you something in the actual base itself. So I'll switch this one. So there we go. So now, if you look, the bottom one's turned off. We'll remember that. So when we when we go inside, now then this one here, can you see that little cabin there? That is where you come out. So I'll jump out the uh, the controller seat and I'll actually show you this and explain anybody who is going to be the controller on a PvP match and how this works this teleporter here which is switched on is wired up to the exit port the teleporter which is actually in that that part of the building there and the bow and powered this door at the same time so what i've done is because the match is still going i don't want to open that door and have everybody flooding out to run back in again so what i've done is I've set up the, the switches so that it will close the door and keep the teleporter on so people can just come and go in here and not enter outside. So when the match is over, if everybody's in there, then basically what I do is I'll switch this switch. It'll open the door and turn both teleporters off. Stop basically stopping anybody from getting outside um that's how that will work um and i think it'll work absolutely perfect so there you go you can have them turned off when the match has started and then when the match begins you can turn them all on so there we go so that's interesting there pretty good isn't it um and i'm showing you the features first and then I'll show you the wiring. Okay, then back into the high chair again. So let's get back into the chair. So we'll go over here. Now then, this building over here with the green light on the top, if you watch when I toggle it, it'll turn that light off. Plus it turns off everything inside. There's a, an appearance modifier in there and there's also a teleporter. The teleporter is wired up to the entrance part there. To another teleporter inside that means nobody can have gain access once they're inside this building they cannot get out only by this way here to get into this building here okay so if i turn this on it will switch all of this on so basically what i've done is i've created a circuit where you wire a teleporter to a teleporter to the power and it switches both of them on and off basically so nobody can exit and enter God, that ship was flying a bit weird, wasn't it? Okay, then, so that's how that works. 
ignore all that. That's just a that's just a, a terminus and a power station up there. So it needs a lot to power this place. So uh, as we go down here, which is the main entrance, okay, this is all switched on now. So over at that control room, you can switch all this off. So if I walk through here now, it'll, I'll enter the arena. So there's a save beacon there. First thing you do is save. So you're in here when you die. When you die, you'll probably just end up spawning straight there. And then we hop over here and I'll show you something interesting. Now then, I thought the players need to know what time it is and how long the game is going. So can you remember I turned that one off? I put a clock in here to tell them when the match is actually over. They don't know, do they? So I put that in there. So And I also put another one in here. As you can see, that bottom one is turned off. It's like it through the entire building. Wherever there's a, uh, one of these clocks, they'll all synchronize at the same time. So no matter what that controller puts, it will synchronize. So I put one in there because basically you can see it on all angles of the base. The all angles of the PvP area. Which is absolutely amazing. So you can see it from here. So you can see that one there. That's good isn't it? So that's all in order. We can see the clock. We know what time it is. Um, and we know when the match is going to end. Right then let's do a bit of wiring. Now then. What I need to do is I need to go outside. I need to delete a wall so I can get outside and show you exactly how this is all wired up. Right then, we'll do the clock to start with. This is quite simple and straightforward and easy for you to do. Okay, so we'll get rid of this wall here. I'll put it back on. This wall here, I'll go into the wire so you can see where they all go. So, if you look here now, all these wires here, each and every single individual one, like that one there, you see that's going up, that wire. And you should see another few more. There's one there. You see there's more here, all spanning out here, right? Where these go is, as you can see, they've gone over to that one there. Can you see? And then the main power supply to the other ones have gone up to the... If I'm, I'm getting lost now, <laughs> they all go up to the uh, to the one up here. I should have picked an object. I could have red stated. Okay, so they go up here. Can you see all the wires? How they come up here? And what they do is they they match every single one of these these bulbs in this clock here. And then what I've done on this side is that all these are going to build camera so you can see better. All these here go down here to where the switches are, like that. So this, these control the, the, the clocks in the actual structure itself, whilst these are the main power source to where the power comes. Now can you see there's an orange cable there, an orange wire? That's the one which is turned off and you'll see it emanating from this side here as well can you see it there there you go so that's how that's done okay so what we'll do is turn out this and we'll go down to the bottom and i'll show you how it works here so if i go i've got one more clock to wire up by the way so this is the complicated part now so what i'll do is i'll get back into the the build menu um i'll try and find something that is red stated so that it's uh it's easier for easier for us to look at okay so i've got that so what i'm going to do is um i'll show you how these work now then these are switches what they do is they regulate the power to an object so basically they turn them off so we'll follow this one in the middle here so this one here obviously is powered as you can see there's one here one two three four these are the four that run to the powers okay the power supplies okay so i think it's like one two three four okay so that's on one side so say that's on the left hand side of the switch that's where all our power cables are on each of the switch okay on the right hand switch that goes over to the device that you want to switch on and off like this 
Can you see how I've, what I've done is I've pulled that cable down from the roof, stopped it there, created um, a join, and then joined this up this way. So it connects all those switches. So don't forget, you need to have power in your right hand side and then the object that you want to turn on and off on your left hand side basically that's it so if we go over to say for instance this one here which is powering this here i'll show you this this circuit it's done on the same thing this power cable here goes over to the batteries over there okay and then what i've done is i run a wire along here and then the bill camera doesn't go that far but if you look can you see the joining i put there there's a joining there so i've stopped the wire there so that i can attach the teleporter to that wire and then i can connect the um the lights to that wire so when i switch the power on and off it'll turn the power on and off in that place as well so that's how i've done that one it's it's quite straightforward it's a bit of a pain doing it now then this one's a bit more complicated now a bit <laughs> there's a lot of wires isn't there so here as you can see from this junction there's a lot of wires coming out and going in but that's don't be mistaken because there's one wire as you can see here is the power the power goes out to one of the batteries down there okay so i think it will be this wire here this goes down into that battery there okay so that's that wire and that will go up to this central unit here the rest of them is basically running off one switch so you've got as you can see there's one going to a door here and then you've got another one which is going to the light here and then you've got another one which as you can see oh no i've done that differently i do apologize i've wired the circuit from one to the door one to the teleporter then from this teleporter here i wired it all the way up into the teleporter there so if i switch that off all the power you'll see which i'll do in a second i'll switch that switch off so we'll go here and we'll switch this switch off and look for the orange cables okay so i'll go back into build menu and we'll have a look for the orange cables now these are where the power allegedly runs through to the different devices can you see how i put the joining from the door up to there and can you see how i've done the one to the light and then you can see the one that goes to the teleporter there the same principle goes for that one there but you can actually see the blue power cable going to that one there anyway so i don't need to show you that one but basically that's how it works and say for instance i'll go back into normal mode so i'll switch that back on so basically if you go into the power mode here if i toggle them all off so every single one of them is switched off basically now is this is what happens so if i go into camera mode as you can see they're all off meaning that the cables that are connected to them all the power would have gone off on them and then all the power would have gone off on those and it basically filters throughout the entire building i don't know if we would be able to see it through one of these windows but you you probably would if you got close enough but you would be able to see that the change the difference in there as all those things have been powered off uh, it looks looks pretty cool actually there's wires everywhere but yes that is one of the main central controls is that switch that controls a lot of things on this build so <clears throat> yeah those those four switches okay then so there you go that's how the switches are done um i'm going to jump in my seat again and end the video uh okay well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Wiring tutorials. Very straightforward once you know what you're doing. These are just switches. Wait until you get to uh, other more complex things. But 
this is how it's done and if you want to be the controller of this and you want to come here look at the other videos it's got the portal glyphs in and it'll show you where to come to come to the arena now this is how you control it so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one Thank you.